find out things. Uh, meanwhile, whenever it is necessary, surely I will bless up you on his channel. Say so and ask. Okay? okay. That's not a problem. Is the okay? The jQuery is but also we, or the JavaScript is enough? <coughs> no, no, no. We need to have HTML, CSS. Hello? Yes, I'm listening. Okay. I will tell you the importance and what are the topics we are going to discuss now. Okay? You, you are able to see my screen, right? Yeah, I'm able to see. Okay, fine. Then I will show you what is Angular JS everything. So are you going to cover how to bootstrap the application also with Angular JS? Yeah, that is that's the main thing, right? That's the okay. first thing. Not written there, so okay. I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. I will show you the internal part. If you're interested, uh, if you're really interested, I will surely show you the internally how it is working. I mean yeah, internally I method is calling like that. For example, now I will show you mm, everything. You you are able to see my screen, right? Yes, I am able to see your screen. Yeah, one second. What I wanted to tell you. The internal processors means what? Angular JS nowadays. Angular JS everywhere we are we are going to hear the Angular JS term, right? Up to five to ten years, no technology will beat this. Okay? What's the what made Angular JS such a powerful? That is what I know. I'm going to explain you. Know. React okay? is coming, right? React is also uh, I think it's powerful than AngularJS. Yeah, every JS there are hundreds of JS, right? But we need to for our requirement, Angular will be fit for anything. I mean, you got my point? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. one second. I will take you. To, you know this, right? Whatever I have highlighted. Yes. I think you are aware of this. Yeah. This is the minification file. To work with Angular JS, we need this minification file. Okay. Android will give lots of features. If you go and uh, uh, find the differences between React JS and Angular JS, you will find few things. Angular will support automation of testing. There will be lots, lots of testing tools like Jasmine, Karma, like that. Okay. This is the Angular JS code. You can see this, right? This is the Angular JS code. Okay? Remove min here. And you're there, right? Yeah, I'm there. I have removed min. Yeah. See this? This is the code. This is the Angular JS code. Okay? First, the execution starts with. I will explain the internal logics also here, if you bear with me. Okay? This is a code. What here really happens? I will explain you. Keyboard is not working. Right. One second. I will explain you. How how it bootstraps? What happens when it bootstraps? I will explain you that thing. Okay. Control F. Okay. Hmm. Dot bootstrap. Are you able to see? I'm I'm debugging their file, Android, their uh, Angular JS file. Are you okay. able to see that, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is what the starting point of the application. If you see here, you got it. App Angular dot module. It will load a module, our module, okay? And Angular dot bootstrap. It will go to here when this method is called. Will be going to here. The method execution. Internally, what happens here? You can do. You can see here. It will Angular dot bootstrap method will be calling. It will take our document, and it will be injecting this ng model and these things. Okay. I will be explaining you in detail what happens internally when two-way binding happens. What here internal code happens? Okay, I will be explaining you in detail. Okay, for now we have less time. I will be showing you a demo. That's it. Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay. What are the main features of Angular JS? That is what I am going to discuss here. 
why nowadays everyone is looking at angular js okay we have uh, uh, we had, uh, uh, huh? I, before that i want to know like um, how many uh, hours of sessions will this going to be this is 30 hours only angular js how many 30 30 30 30 sessions so every day 2 hours or every day 1 hour it depends upon your your uh, time flexibility and my time flexibility. If Saturday and Sunday I would be free, then I can extend you two to three hours also in Saturday and Sunday. We can what complete. About, uh, what about? Sorry, what about? Weekdays. Weekdays. Uh, you are from US or you are from IST or EST? EST. Okay, then not a problem. If you are free, then I can take you. Uh, at 10 o'clock, night 10 o'clock for me, IST 10. I can take you two hours, 10 to 12, like that, continuously. Tell me. Whenever you talk? There will be a lag, so it will be like after few seconds you can hear me. Okay, okay, not a problem, not a problem. You, you, you just hear me, okay? If you have any doubt, you can interrupt me, okay? I will be going ahead, okay? Hmm, actually, Directives or nothing, but we'll have div tags in HTML, right? If you write a div tag, the browser will understand to take entire horizontal place, a block, a division of block, okay? Div means it is understandable by the browser what to do if he wrote div, okay? In a similar way, directives or such a things that browser can understand what to do at that certain situation, okay? If you write ng app, Browser will understand he is loading one AngularJS application module like that. If you write ng controller, it will it will know that okay he is using some controller. I need to load that. Okay, browser will understand those directives. In a similar way, we can write our custom directives also. Custom directives helps us in two things. We can use these directives as the components. Okay, reusable components and we can give the behavior to the components, okay? That's the main use of directives. These are very much useful in an AngularJS. Uh, and remaining features are modules, view controllers. These things are very much pretty, pretty similar to another uh, JavaScript frameworks also. We are going to divide the AngularJS in three modules. I mean, the mo mod model, view, controller, like that. The viewport will be present in the viewport. Controllers, business logic should be going to the controller. And here we can have few more parts like services, factories. Okay, these things are data providers. Data sub, uh, will be sharing with the help of these services. Okay. Expressions are nothing but expressions are nothing but will write a double quotes like this. And you can evaluate an expressions, anything you can write here, this will be evaluated, okay? This double quotes will be helpful for the browser understand. If you write a double quote, double flower basis, it will understand that he is trying to uh, evaluate some expression. So it will be become alert and it will calculate that and it will show the result, not the what we have typed here, okay? It will evaluate that expression. If it can't evaluate that expression, it will show it as it is. Okay, that is of, of, of expressions, and we'll have filters. Filters are nothing but we can we have three we can work we can do three things with the help of filters. We can sort the data, we can format the data, we can filter the data. Okay, we have a large table. You wanted to sort out. I mean, a, a, with the help of a for a alphabets. Then you need to do order by, and you need to declare the uh, ascending or descending order. Okay? Filter will handle three things: formatting, sorting, and filtering. Formatting is nothing but the currency changes, and uh, th those type of things will be uh, formatting the filter. And filtering means nothing but you need a particular record in an in an table. Then it will filter it and it will give its columns and rows. That's for that's our up to filters, okay? And it will you each and everything, and it's custom filters also, okay? These are the default filters it will provide. I will explain you the custom filter also. 
how to write your own filter okay how to write your own directories custom directories like that i will be explaining event handling how to handling the events i mean if i click a button what should happen if i click a, a tab what should happen how should i handle it okay all these type of things it comes under event handling examples okay and the main feature of this single page application and of this is nothing but it, it will helps us in the development of spa spa means nothing but a single page application nowadays every application most of the applications 80% of the applications should be in a single page applications what single page applications mean is if i click in the left side only the main view will be changing the page won't re refresh or reload okay only the main page will be changing when i click any uh, side menu bar i mean uh, i i want the information about uh, heroes if i click about heroes only the main page will be changing if i want information about directors if i click directors on the left side only the main page will be changing this is this is called as routing routing concept comes here okay based upon the click you which you have clicked it will be loading the view and the controller directly okay that is routing and the form validations we have the powerful form validations here here what happens is uh, based upon the value usually what we do in javascript is whenever i click anything we'll write an event if i enter anything if i blur any event we'll write an events for that okay we'll write an event so that whenever uh, that that event happens that method will be executing that way we are going to do form validations previously in javascript what here we exactly do is based upon a condition conditions ng if ng switch ng model names automatically the form validations will happen okay those those lots of things uh, reduction of the code helps here we need not write a lot of code mm, in reducing those things it will be handling you may just need to write the ng model name and you need to evaluate those model name value that's it you are done with that okay here the main important feature of this angular js is two way binding two way binding means what means if i change any value in the view my model will be updated if i change any value in the model my view will be updated you no need to do external anything usual usual in javascript what you will do is if i click anything in the form registration and i will if i click submit now in this submit form uh, click event i am going to extract those values get the value of user name get the value of the user password mail id everything values i need to extract and i need to submit it to the model this is what happens usually okay with the help of this angular js two way binding what happens is whenever i change the value in the view automatically it will be updated in the model so no need to uh, write all this code to be updated and to be verified to sync both the view and model Automa automatically angular js two way binding will be taking care of syncing both the view and the model okay this helps you a lot okay and the scopes what are the scopes we have how to use those things i mean scope is nothing but uh, it is a bridge between the view and the controller what all the view you have in the views will have its scope under its controller okay it will be uh, it will be confusing while i'm explaining you but when i'm going to explain you in real time it will be very much useful okay you can have this dollar dot scope like this this is a bridge between view and controller okay here the main feature of this angular this is dependency injection this is a design pattern dependency injection means if model module a needs a dependency of module b then you need to mention that before starting module a you are going to inject the dependency of module b what it does means to start the module a i need module b okay so what angular js will do is whether the module b is there or not as it is there it is working fine then only it will start the module a why because we have mentioned that module a should work only if module b is available that is called as dependency injection 
development point, right? And how to debug the Angular application and what are the best practices? What are the te testing techniques we are going to use? Basically, while developing itself, you are going to write the test cases. We need to use the Jasmine, Karma, Protractor. These are the tools we are going to use in ang for Angular JS testing. Okay? Testing means are you like unit test? Yeah, unit test of uh, Angular JS. I think you you are aware if if you are working on Angular, you, this this words will be pretty pretty much you need to use this before starting an application. If you are, you are developing a standard applications of Angular JS before starting any application, first you need to write a Jasmine test case. Then only you need to start. You are not even uh, start directly going and uh, writing an app model like that. No one will allow you. You need to write a test case for Jasmine. First, you need to execute it, and you need to get the uh, authentication from your manager that this this was happened. This was work I done in Jasmine with the help of Jasmine. These are the test cases I wrote, so that I can proceed with my view and uh, controller now. With the with that step only, you need to start. Okay, these are very much important. Jasmine and Protractor, these things. But core is this one. Core topic is this one. If you know this core knowledge, you can do that one also. That is also not that much uh, tough. It is, it is also very much easy. You need to think like a tester. That's it. While writing the code in Jasmine, you need to think like a tester. Okay, what all the eligible values will be there for the validation of email? I can give numbers. I, I will wantedly you need to destroy your code. That is a test case. You got my point, right? Before writing code itself, code, you need to think in uh, 10 to 100 ways. How can my code will get an bug? It should not get in that way. So you need to write a test case for that. If the test goes fail, you need to get an alert. Okay? In that way, you'll be writing the test cases. It helps you a lot. If once you practice that uh, Jasmine test cases, uh, you'll you'll never come to write this code. You'll write only test cases instead. So you need to think the possible ways of code distraction and you need to write the test cases for that. That's it. After that, everything works fine, then you need to start the code. And as you have a core knowledge on that, why? Because you'll have everything in your mind, right? What is what? Why? Because you have completed your test case. Then you will write perfect code. When you're writing the code, you'll write a perfect code. Directly, if you start this angle JS code, what happens is what will wrong happen? You will not check the validations, you not think in that way. You'll, you'll develop th that set. You'll develop a form and you'll complete it. That's it. Not more than that. But if you write the test cases, what happens means you'll think think about those test cases. If those fail, you'll fail. So you will make those test cases not to fail. Okay? You got my point, what I'm telling? Yeah. That's the main importance of these Jasmine test cases. And these things, here the main things you need to remember is directives. Okay? And uh, routing routing okay and form validations dependency injections these are the important core topics okay if you know the if you can write your custom directive then you're almost done with angular uh, i think i'm done with me from my side do you have any doubts no yeah tell me no i said no no okay okay sorry fine if you have any time, please brush up this HTML and JavaScript. Just basics, that's it. I mean, what I mean basic means is W3 schools. That's it. Enough for. Enough to proceed with Angular. Okay? Whenever it is necessary, okay. I will be helping you on that. I will be brushing up you. And okay, I think I'm, I, I'm done from my side. Okay? I'm leaving. Bye-bye. Okay.